As always, I start by printing all of the parts. I use PLA for each piece. All parts except for the electronics lid are made out of black filament. Display gasket now prints full flat on the belt plate and has a hinge system in place. Display installation looks pretty much the same as in previous versions, it just slides in. Display goes inside with ribbon facing downwards. With ribbon facing downwards you then bend the ribbon towards the hinge. The ribbon bend makes it more safe inside the plastic piece. It keeps the ribbon at an angle which makes it safe from tearing. This way you won't damage your display. This piece right here is the magnifier, it comes with the display. It slides into the plastic housing near the OLED. There is a slight gap between the display and the magnifier, this is to keep the image in focus. Now comes the best part, the hinge assembly. It feels like I'm showing this for a millionth time already, but there are still some people that don't get it. A lot of people ask me how I've printed the hinge insert, when it's clearly just a piece of filament that goes through the both pieces. It's by far the easiest method of doing this and I will keep doing that unless I find something better. With the filament piece all the way inside you can cut it short with the knife and melt both ends. This will make sure that the filament won't slide out during use. Make sure that the hinge is not loose, it has to have some resistance to it. Otherwise it will stab you in the eye while wearing. The combiner is a little eye stabby thing so watch out. When you rotate the display part it should stay in place, it can't move by itself. Otherwise you will just have a bad time with it. This piece right here is the driver board, it comes with the display as well. It connects directly to the OLED display, it won't work without it. You connect the ribbon cable to the PCB first. There is a latch on the ribbon, so it may take some patience. With the ribbon finally in place, you can now flip the PCB into the plastic case. It should go inside without any issue. The PCB cover can be installed using two self-tapping screws. Those will keep everything in place. Now it's time to install the headband. Whole assembly is being held by just one screw, this way it's possible to adjust the eye distance and pitch.
I'm using a small hex screw. It could use a threaded insert, but it will work without it. The very last piece required is the combiner. I cut it out of the semi-reflective sheet myself. I will use a small plastic jig to mark the cutting lines with my knife. This will get me almost perfect shape for the display. Whole sheet is covered with carton tape, so I won't damage anything in the process. There's always a risk of cutting myself open, but it is what it is. The combiner was then further cut with my Dremel tool. It removed the excess plastic pretty easily. Now the combiner is ready for installation. It might take some force to push it in, it's designed to be very tight. And now that the combiner is in place, the base side loader light 2.1 is finished. As always, thanks for watching everyone. And huge thanks to my patrons. See you next time.